People always say life isn't easy. Well, they're right if they aren't developing with Zenium. See this go-kart? Right now it's a fun toy. It's got a powerful motor and large batteries, but we have no idea what's happening here while we're driving. We don't know our speed or anything about these electronics. What do you think it would take to turn this cart into a full electric vehicle? With a nice dashboard display? It feels like a bit of a daunting task. Well, at least for those unfamiliar with Xenium. Xenium is a componentized software development and deployment framework from Imagine Communications. It has been powering the media industry for years. And today I'm going to show you what it can do for embedded devices and IoT. By leveraging the power of Xenium, we were able to produce a fully working dashboard showing the vehicle's speed, throttle voltage, and battery current, all in a matter of days. We're not using any tricks here, like the phone's GPS. No, this data acquisition was developed right down to the sensors measuring voltages and current on the vehicle. So how did Xenium make this possible? Well, to start, Xenium works on Windows, Mac, and Linux, including embedded Linux like this ARM-based Raspberry Pi. It supports mixing Java, C, C++, and many scripting languages. So you can write components in the language that makes sense and leverage third-party libraries to do what you need fast. Because Xenium is about reusable components, anything that has already been written is just a drag and drop away. We started with a Raspberry Pi. Added a couple of click shield boards. One for measuring large currents and another programmable A to D, D to A converter. As this was our first IoT project, we had to get down and dirty and write some new Xenium components to talk to these devices. These boards communicate over SPI and I2C. We leveraged an open source library that could talk these low-level protocols and built our reusable Xenium components on top of that library. With these components written, we can simply drag them into Xenium Designer and start building our Xenium process. The speed sensor is a simple magnetic latch that detects the field from the magnets on the spinning wheel. We needed to convert those pulses into a frequency and then perform a calculation to get the vehicle speed. Again, simple reusable Xenium components made this job a breeze. Here we are using a graph built in Xenium to test our blueprint design. With the components written, let's get the dashboard up and running. For that, we will drag in an existing web component, set the port, and simply browse to our Xenium process. With this web component, we not only generate a control interface, allowing us to browse and set parameters, we also generate our dashboard compatible with any browser. Now that we've got our in-car dashboard, let's go one step further and take our telemetry data to the cloud. We'll publish our data using the industry standard MQTT protocol. And here's our telemetry being subscribed to by a free MQTT client application.
Let's give it some throttle and see our data in the cloud. Thanks to how fast we got this project done with Xenium, we can get back to playing with our fun toy. Uh, I mean, responsibly driving our electric vehicle. And with this work done, anybody using these sensors could simply reuse these Xenium components and drag and drop their way to their own dashboard. <laughs>